What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you something freaking cool. I was in Lowe's the other day and I came across this bad boy right here. This is a DeWalt 22 caliber powder actuated fastening tool, otherwise known as a 22 caliber handgun. Who knew a hardware store sells handguns? Now this thing was $99. I did add this beautiful homemade four end grip nice which on a regular handgun would be highly highly illegal but since this is not a handgun i can put whatever i want on this thing so how this thing works you pull the entire barrel up you load 22 blanks inside of here and then you stick these special nails that they have which really they aren't that special they just have this little plastic thing on it to hold it straight in there but they just go down in there close it up and the reason i added this forehand grip is because it has a, a safety i guess it would be called where technically if you're using this to nail wood or anything into concrete or whatever you're nailing into with this thing you'd have to actually push it down to get it where you could pull the trigger I guess it's a safety thing. I don't really know. That's why I got this badass foreign grip right here. We've got a badass over here. These are the little 22 blanks that you would buy. They're for sale at Lowe's. I think this pack of 100 was only six bucks. They're actually pretty cool because the way ammo is and with this administration that we have in and them trying to get rid of all things guns, you can actually use these little 22 blanks in a real 22 and just hot glue like a 22 pellet on the end. Works great. It's like, you know, shit hits the fan type stuff, but it'll get you through if you had to. So these things are actually pretty cool on their own. All right, let's load this thing up and shoot some cool targets and see how it actually does. All right, guys, normally with this, you'd stick it on your wood. You push it in, bam, bam, bam. Nail goes in, you're good to go. But like I said, I have put the forehand grip, so we're gonna shoot it like a gun into some cool targets. All right, guys, let's try this on something a little cooler than just a tree. Hopefully I can hit it. Dang, I cut the top of it off. <laughs> just scalp the bottle at least I hit it I guess if that was an intruder and that was his head he'd be taken out right let's try that again on another bottle <laughs> shoot some good old mountain lightning try to get it try to get a shot down a little bit lower this time okay let's try to get this thing in the gut I don't know how to aim this thing. I need a, a laser on it or something. Woo! I have no clue where that went. It definitely shot out. I heard it go through the leaf somewhere. Let's reload and try it again. Okay, second try. Get it this time, I believe. Straight through. Straight through. <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. I wouldn't have thought that it would uh, penetrate from, I don't know, I'm probably about eight feet away. Maybe I should try it a little further. It'll probably start tumbling then though. <laughs> Let's take out some cans. If I can hit it. God, my. Woo! God. Lowe's Hardware Pistol. 
Who would have thought, right? I got a watermelon. Let's set that thing up and shoot through, uh, shoot into some melon. All right, guys, for this one, I have some steel ball bearings that I've found. They don't quite fit perfectly, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if we can put other things inside of this nail gun and shoot them out. This will be a little harder because it's gonna wanna roll out every time. But we're gonna give it a shot. See if I can even aim it at this thing. I think I missed. I definitely heard it go through the woods. I definitely missed the melon. Might have to get a little closer. Okay, ball bearing number two. Point blank. <laughs> Whoa, it did not go through. Went in. But didn't go through. Let's go back to the nails. Okay, back to the tried and true two inch long nails. If I can hit this thing. Woo. I skimmed the top. I saw that thing. Let's check out that slow mo. I think that might look kind of cool. I just barely skimmed the top of this thing. It went, that was awesome. But we're gonna have to get a freaking dead on hit. I wanna get something in this melon. I went and put on a glove this time. The vibration in this handle is making my hand tingle a little bit. I feel something. A slight tingle in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. Uh, Alright, we're gonna be able to do this this time. Dang, I skimmed the top again. I might have to put a little uh, laser on this thing. If I was aiming at an intruder, they're just gonna get a little bit of a haircut. Alright, we're gonna try one more time. Third time's a charm. We're gonna get this. My aim a little bit lower. Oh yeah, dead center. <laughs> that might look cool in slow-mo too. Let's check that out, see if it uh, shows up. As you can see, that one came out and turned sideways. I'm amazed it did it that quick though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought it would be completely sideways. That definitely would have hurt somebody though. That would have made a nice wound in their gut. These last couple shots, I got way far back so we can see if it has any power from a distance. See if I can even hit anything. We're gonna just aim for the wood. Yeah. It's definitely got some power, but as you can tell, it bounced back, so it did not go straight. All right. Second shot. See if we can aim for that bottle over there. Yo. <laughs> you can't tell it on camera, but it's funny what you can actually see them come out and they kind of it's not they're not straight at all from a distance. You might be able to see it on camera, I'm not positive. All right, let's try again. That was about that close to that bottle. I'm gonna get the bottle. That one actually flew straight. I could tell the nail was flat. I'm gonna have to put something on here so I can aim. I didn't hit the bottle, but I could tell it stuck in the wood. Let's check that out. It's kind of funny. Some of them go straight and some of them don't. Look at it. It went pretty far in there too. It's a two inch long nail. I mean, that thing's in there. I'm amazed it flew straight. I am way off from where I was aiming though. 
Let's try, try again. Oh, right over. Ah. It's a little twist up can. I don't know why I didn't bust it there. I think I might have to stick another bottle beside it because I keep going in between. Doubled it up. I think I should be able to at least hit one of them. Or not. Three hours later. I hit it barely on the top oh my gosh not a long-range gun guys not a long-range gun I mean nail gun nail gun for the FBI and everybody you know okay guys hopefully you like that video check it out again Dewalt P2201 powder actuated fastening tool there are lots of ways you can customize this since it's not a firearm there's no rules to it <laughs> but anyways hope you liked that video if you did hit that thumbs up button if you aren't subscribed hit that subscribe button take it easy later guys